Hello everyone, and welcome to Salt Shaker Studios. I am your host for Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. I am the Dangerous Moose, and I have to say welcome. Uh, so, finally we got some Pokemon content going up on the channel here. Uh, we should have a lot of other stuff coming up too. If you guys are followers of the channel, uh, hi, welcome back, it's good to see you. Hi, it's me, I'm soloing this project, hello. But if you guys are new to the channel, I'd like to welcome you all. Um, here on Salt Shaker Studios, we just do a bunch of games that we find fun and enjoy. And that's pretty much the main goal of it, is just to have fun and enjoy the game and yada yada yada. So, if you guys do not know what a Pokemon Nuzlocke is, uh, Pokemon Nuzlocke is essentially you catch a Pokemon, the first Pokemon in every uh, area, you have to nickname that Pokemon, and if it faints, you can no longer use that Pokemon. The challenge starts once the, uh, once I obtain my starter Pokeball. So yeah, so... We did wind up finishing our previous series of Mega Man Chrono X, um, and so I wanted some other stuff to fill the time slot. So I'm going to be starting two series of my own. I'm going to be doing the rest of the Battle ba the Mega Man series, as I promised I would. And then I wanted to also do Pokemon Fire Red. Now, we finally have another person in the works of two series coming to the channel, uh, which are also Pokemon related. So I figured I'd do something just to kind of put the foot in the water to see how this is turning out and how Pokemon's gonna do on the channel uh, so I'm gonna get this done I'm gonna get this started uh, so I figured I'd start it off uh, I do just a simple Pokemon fire red Nuzlocke nothing randomized just kind of put the foot in the water um, you know dip my toes in get my foot wet but my name is actually Michael I'm a boy uh, so I'm just gonna put my name as Michael hello thank you so, uh, so yes my name is Michael yes hi hello so I'm going to be doing this because I wanted to play Pokemon and I want to do the Mega Man thing. And I also want there just to be content on Soul Shaker Studio. So, um, we normally have Digimon still going on on the channel, but that goes up on our 6 p.m. time slot. So, I wanted something to go up at 12 and 3. So, this will probably go up at, like, we'll say, I don't know, I'd say this will probably go up around 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'll have Mega Man go up at 3 uh 3 p.m eastern same time or i might switch them around actually because chrono x always went up at 12 so i'll probably wind up actually doing mega man at 12 and this going up at 3 p.m eastern standard time uh so yeah so i will do the first few episodes of bulk recording i'll probably do three episodes of pokemon in bulk but do leave your guys's comments down below because what i'll do is if you guys wind up do leaving comments i will take down the nicknames that you guys recommend for pokemon that we suggest i'm gonna nickname our starter but, um, I'm going to nickname our starter. Uh, actually, you know what? No, let's not do Kurt because let's do the other Pokemon guy that's on the channel. Let's do Joy. You'll meet, you guys will meet Joy soon on the channel. He's getting some stuff. Oh God, no, that's not Joy. That's, that's Joy. Oh God, I hit Jay again. There we go. So he's the other guy that will be doing some, <clears throat> um, some Pokemon content on the channel. But yeah, so this will probably be going up uh, every day at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If I miss a day, that probably means I'm sitting down to record. It's how the channel usually works. And at 12 p.m., we'll be having Mega Man Battle Network going up as well. And then at 6 p.m. as normal, we'll have Digimon Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory with my sister on board. So, Plot Jigger Studios is going absolutely fantastic so far. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys do go down to the description. Uh, of this video follow us we actually finally made an official twitter and an instagram account if you guys want to link up and get all social with us i invite you guys to my sister uh also runs that because she's always on twitter and instagram herself so i figured it just kind of work out like that so her and i will manage that pretty much uh so come interact with us come hang out that'll be fun also you can go down below i know this is the first episode but if you guys do continue on with the series 
the first episode and the full playlist are always linked down there for every series as they should be. So you guys should always go check that stuff out because it is very, very important that you guys keep up in loop because you don't want to miss out on a single episode of your favorite series. But I'm not going to lie. This was very impromptu, if you will, right? Like, I completely started winging this. Just out of the blue, I decided I want to do this. I was actually going to do a randomizer of this, and then I start, and I hit record, and I just started playing. Yeah. Like, that just happened. Like, I was going to do a randomizer of this, and then I just hit start recording. Well, I guess I'm just doing a regular Nuzlocke. But I figured, like I said, let's start off on something OG in Pokemon, and we'll keep it very simple with the Nuzlocke rules, I think. Um, so I know that Salt Shaker Studios is small and this would normally be like a choose your starter episode, but I am just going to go ahead and choose the starter myself. Um, I'm probably going to go with Charmander, to be honest with you. Uh, it just, why, why wouldn't I? It's Fire Red, it's Charizard, it, it, it's an important start. You, this is, this is the critical moment, um, in this, so let, let's get this going. Alright, so... I will also be reading and doing the voices myself, but I do need to put a little disclaimer. I do struggle with reading. I have, like, some bad dyslexia. Um, so if I wind up stumbling over words, please forgive me and do not roast my ass. That's all I ask for. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let's get picking our starters. And, of course, it wouldn't be a Pokemon Fire Red playthrough without going with Charmander. Uh, for the most part, I've always been a grass-type starter kind of guy. Uh, I have picked Bulbasaur in my in playthroughs I've done as a kid. Excuse me. To take a sip of Gatorade or Powerade. I don't even know. Alright, so we have to give Charmander a nickname. <sighs> what nickname shall I give you? Alright. <sighs> I could give you something pretty simple. You are a boy. For a matter of fact. Um... <sighs> Um, something I like to do with names is I actually like to translate some phrases into Japanese and then take their, like, English thing under Google Translate and punch them in. That's something I commonly do with nicknames. Um, so, huh. What do I want to name him? What do we name him? Very important. This is the first Pokemon that we have, and we have to name him. I, I feel like as the starting Pokemon of this playthrough, on the first Pokemon on this channel, it'd be an insult if I didn't just name him Salt. Why not? Alright, so Joy received the Squirtle from Professor Oak. So now, of course, the standard starters. Let's see what kind of nature we got going on here. Uh, we got Salt the Charmander. He's a hardy nature. Alright, okay, well, he seems to be pretty speedy. Isn't too bad. So let's get this rolling, shall we? Whew, this is gonna be rough. Brock is gonna be a rough gym already, I can tell you that much. Alright, first initial battle. Now remember, if we do wind up losing this fight, the Nuzlocke is not over. The rules are posted down also in the description, so make sure you guys do go check that out. You guys are unfamiliar with it. Uh, but we don't have our starting Pokeballs yet, so we do not lose the Nuzlocke. Uh, Alright, so now Pokemon Ford will have you. Pokemon's when trainers balance Pokemon. Yes, I know, Oak. I haven't, I haven't practiced my Professor Oak voice. I'm not gonna lie. Also, I haven't watched the Pokemon anime in a while, so I don't really have any references to go off of them. But let's use Scratch. Inflicting damage on the foe is key to any battle. Yes. Alright, keep tail whipping me. I don't think I have tech speed put to fast. I might have forgotten that. I will try to avoid using the speed up button as much as possible. If you actually kind of look in the bottom left corner of the game, you can see what kind of speed and percent the emulation's running at. Because I'm totally playing this on the Game Boy right now. I mean, this is my Game Boy controller right here. Just saying. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so... Uh... The way I have it running, I tried to make the actual emulation in the high of quality as possible uh, because I do plan on recording this in 1080p and uploading that in 1080p and everything else. 
Uh, I could do 720, in all honesty. Like, it is Pokemon. It doesn't make, like, the big of a difference. But it's just kind of like... I have presets set on Adobe Premiere when I render. So I just kind of pump things out and just kind of slap on presets and just massively produce. <sighs> okay. I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen up. To toughen it up. Michael! Gramps! Smell you later. Alright, so I think I have to go get a package now for Oak. Michael, you've raised your young Pokemon by making it battle. That's the battle for it for it to grow. And then there's Bulbasaur stuck over there. So I think we can go get the town map. We got the potion out of the PC. Probably going to drop by mom's house real quick so we can go heal up. And then we'll go get the town map from Daisy, I believe her name is. Yes. Michael, I heard you had a battle against Joy. I wish I'd seen that. Oh, never mind. Okay, I guess we get the town map after. I don't know. We'll go. We'll go over to. We'll go to our house and heal quickly because I don't think we get healed automatically. Michael, you should take quick. You should take a quick rest. Welcome back, by the way. Ah, uh, all right. The Pokemon looking great. Take care. No, excellent. All right. Options. Tech speed. Fast. Stereo. Battle frame. Go, Fred. Why not? We'll just go with some. And we'll save. We'll also save. That's important. I don't want any of my settings really get reverted, to be honest with you. Uh. So once again, the first Pokemon we run into on this route does not technically count. Uh, because we do not have Pokeballs yet. And we got another potion. Beautiful. Actually, wait. I didn't get Pokeballs, did I? I'm not crazy. Like, I'm not, I'm not high, am I? No, okay, good. Dun, 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 dun. So, probably to get past Brock's gym, I'm going to either need to get a Mankey. What other options do I have? There's a Mankey I can get, or I have to find, like, a Nidoran or a Nidorino and, like, kind of level that up until it gets, like, double kick. I know Charmander slash Charmeleon does get Metal Claw in this game, so you can attempt to deal with Brock because everything in front of Brock is practically impossible to do. Oh my god, I just realized I'm going to struggle at Misty as well. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, I'm going to have to train my Pokemon, whichever one I get. Hopefully we'll be able to do this pretty strategically. When I do train, I won't try and, like, over-level, if you will. Uh, but if I have to, I will put my Pokemon in a position where they won't get absolutely destroyed. Oh god, so I think who's the third gym leader? Why, why am I forgetting the third gym leader? Ah, the beginning game of this Pokemon game is really difficult now looking back at it. Mm -hmm. Well, Salt is now level 7. I think he learns Ember, which he does. Oh. <sighs> The mildly nice thing, though, about having a Charmander in the beginning is that you do have Viridian Forest to train in front of. Uh, so I can just go spam embers and blow everything up over there in the woods, which would be nice. Yeah, so here in Viridian City. I'm on the road to Viridian City. Why? Now, I get why it was because, like, you had, like, because the way this game works is you went to Brock first. But, like, you go through, Vir they went through Viridian City first, right? If unless the maps work differently than like the anime. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Cuz like you like you play this game and you just walk right into Viridian City and then the whole entrance is like, "Yeah, I'm on the road to Viridian City." It's like, what do you mean? It's like literally 5 steps up a pallet town. Uh, so now I think we have to go get the uh There we go. All right. So we go get the package from the guy and then we'll bring it back. His order came in. Can I get you take it to him. Michael received Oak's parcel from the Pokemart. All right, and now we go back. So I'm gonna use the speed up button here a little bit. <sighs> so I think we'll wind up getting the Pokeballs here. He has something for me. We gave him Oak's parcel. Gramps! 
I almost forgot. What did you call me for? Oh, right. I have a request for you, too. On the desk, there is my invention, the Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's the highest tech encyclopedia. Michael and Joy, take these with you. You can't, you can't get detailed data on Pokémon just by seeing them. You must catch them to obtain the complete data. So here are some tools for you catching wild Pokémon. And there we go, ladies and gents. It is officially begun. The Pokémon Nuzlocke is here. It's on their way. It's time to panic. Got some shit going on. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for you. Get moving, you two. This was a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps, leave it all to me. Michael, I hate to say this, but you won't be necessary for this. I know, I'll borrow the tell map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one. I'm Michael, ha ha ha. Don't bother coming around to my place after this. What a dickhead. Uh. So I probably will uh, quickly go in and check and I will like read you some of my, my, my voices. Cause like I said, this was like a little impromptu. Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. Michael will shoot the town map from Daisy. So now we have the town map. I know the layout of this place, like the back of my hand. Uh, if anything, this was my least experienced Pokemon game, if you will. Uh, but still, uh, I, I still know it. It's quite simple to remember. Remember the story for the most part, too. Alright, so we're going to save here, and we need to go catch a Pokemans now. Oh, boy! Alright, so I'm hoping for a Pidgey. And, by the way, so throughout the game, I will be enacting Species Claws. Uh, so, if I happen to run into... So, so I catch this Rattata here. So that's our first encounter. Rattata, wonderful. So, I catch Rattata, and then say later on I run into another Rattata or Eradicate. I don't have to capture that Pokemon. So, he's low enough health. Let's go, Pokeball! Now, so here's a question. Were you guys, like, the kids who held, like, B down on your Game Boy? capture a Pokemon was that you guys or was I the only one who ever did that I feel like a lot of people did that the mouse Pokemon give a name to the Rattata yeah um I got a great name for him I'm gonna call him I'm gonna call him is it cheese is it two E's it's two E's right oh my goodness look at this don't ever start recording kids as soon as you wake up you feel like you don't remember. It's two E's, right? Okay, it is. Cheese. We now have Cheese the Rattata. Alright, so let's go back down quickly. I don't want to heal. Alright, so let's take a look at Cheese's stats, shall we? I'll put him up front. <coughs> Excuse me. He has Runaway. So if we have to get out of the, get out of the fray, we can. There's a Pidgey here. Cannot. <laughs> All right, and cheese is dead. <laughs> I think you got a crit on me while I was using the speed up button. <laughs> So now I gotta go deposit cheese in the box. We no longer have cheese to use. Our first encounters <laughs> God, didn't even last the battle. <sighs> oh my goodness, that is embarrassing. Woo, that's funny. That is that is awful. All right, so now I'm really behind, but it's okay. It was just a rattata. You know, honestly, like I'm not I'm not gonna cry over. It. Move Pokemon box fourteen name. Uh, lol. <laughs> just gonna name it lol just all right cheese thanks for hanging out you did jack shit see you later <laughs> oh that's that's embarrassing oh shit that is embarrassing my dude 
Oh, I'm just, uh, yes, okay, I'm just gonna speak to this guy, because this guy just shows you how to catch a Pokemon. Yeah, I, we just caught one, and he's already dead. Okay, thanks for Teachy TV. Alright, let's go on forward, see if we can catch anything in anything. Wait, this is Route 2, right? Yeah, so Route 2 goes on both sides of uh, the forest, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, a Pidgey! Don't hurt it too much. Alright, so I have a really bad team right now for going into Battle Brock. Alright, so now we have a Pidgey. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that is embarrassing. Alright, I'm gonna name you Ace. Because you're an Ace pilot. Let's go back and heal. So, now here's the impo now here's kind of like a critical moment already in the Let's Play. We've lost one Pokemon. We have two Pokemon that are extremely weak to Rock. Rock. And Brock. Rock and Brock. Rock. Brock, Rock. Brock, Rock. Brock, 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 Brock. I'm okay. So, I know that Mankeys are found on this route. I'm going to try and catch a Mankey. Please be a Mankey. We have Rattata. We have a Rattata and Pidgey dupes. So... What level's the Pidgey? Hmm. Okay. Live a scratch. Salt, you're making me salty. Alright, that's it! Yep! Yep, I'm not mad. I'm we're screwed. We're losing this Nuzlocke. We are losing this Nuzlocke. Oh shit, we are losing this Nuzlocke. Oh, oh, but you can't crit the. Do, 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 do. you have anything for me? Actually, I should probably go back and buy an antidote. Now that I think about it. So yeah, so we're screwed. Uh, salt, just just crit a Mankey. Yep, we're losing this. We're losing this Nuzlocke. We are losing this Nuzlocke. I already have two, so I'll just buy three. Two antidotes and two paralyzed heals. Oh, it's important to stock up on medication. I'm telling you, boys, we're gonna be in for a rough ride. That'd be a rough ride. So. There is Pikachu, I know, in this forest, but Pikachu's not going to help me, obviously. Because, you know, unless it's Ash's Pikachu, who can Thunderbolt and Onyx then, then we'll be fine. And our first encounter is a Weedle! Oh, we are in it to lose it, boys. Alright, so I'm going to try and catch the Weedle. He should live another scratch by the looks of it. Don't you poison me. I will RKO the- Alright, so now we have the potential for a bee drill. Good. So, the good thing about bug Pokemon is they hit their final forms really fast. The shitty part is that they're usually pretty bad, and there's no mega bee drill in this game. Right? Alright, what are we gonna name Weedle? Um, let's name him Sting. The icon Sting. What a great wrestler. Sting. Alright, let's just pop an antidote because I'm pretty sure we just picked one up. Alright, so now we have Salt, Sting, and Ace. Wonderful. We are so losing this. Alright. So what do we? We're at 24 minutes right now. Maybe I'll get a few trainer battles in, like this guy. And then I'll maybe wrap up the episode here. Just kind of like go off-screen XP if you, or like on-screen XP. You know, burn through that some Caterpie, some Weedles, chippity chop, chippity cheeps. You know. Uh, let's put out Ace first. Alright, 
Let's swap out the Charmander. Just get this over with real quick. There we go. Ace grew to level 4. Charmander grew to level 10. Got another Weedle. We'll send out Ace again. The only reason I'm sending out Ace right now is because Weedle will be very easy to switch train. Um, so I'll be able to switch train very simply uh, with Weedle. But for Ace, uh, he might take... A, I Essentially, I just need him to get like Peck or whatever flying move he gets first. He's level 5. He got Sand Attack. Back out to Ace. Oh, he's got a Kakuna this time, huh? Well, he should just harden in front of my face now. There we go. Quick XP's, quick XP's, quick maps. Alright. So we'll keep pressing on a little bit. There's a nice little Pokeball right here. Got another Antidote. Excellent. Alright. So, I think maybe I'll make it to the end uh, of Viridian's Forest. Depends on... Uh, how far we get in there? Caterpie. I think you can take them now, can you? Yep, you can. There we go. You're now level 7. I, I really need to stop using the speed up button. Normally when I play through a Pokemon game, it's only just a regular game, so I can go heal myself. But now I'm nuzlocking it, so it's like, eh. Just need to be careful. This is going to string shot me. String shot. Another string shot. Oh, of course, you got a crit on me there. Alright, I ain't risking another crit. Not, We're not pulling a cheese here. We are not... Are you shit? You got two crits in a row, see? I will not have the, the, the curse of cheese. Will not have the curse of cheese. There's a cocoon in here, so I'm just gonna beat on it real quick just for the free XP. There we go. That cocoon, I'm gonna beat on it for the free XP. Thank you, stab bonuses. And we got Gust. We're in it, boys. Metapod, you won't be able to touch me. Caterpie, you're good finito! Delete! And we leveling up. Bug catcher Charlie for the win. Give it a little quick little save. I don't think we have another like rival we don't have a rival battle here. We just have one in front of uh what do we call it? Uh the league. Quickly knock you out! And we go through, and we'll knock out another Weedle. See if anyone hears anything over. It's getting shoes on the roadside. Can we cut down? Do you have anything to give me? Nope. And nope. So, there is a clause called, like, the Pinwheel Forest Clause, where if there's a big area and it leads into another route like this, you can catch the Pokemon on the other side just to, like, extend your team. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that because I don't think there's enough variety of Pokemon here. Like, I don't... Like, I think we just find the same Pokemon on both sides and they're both dupes. Oh, there's a Caterpie. It's fine. I won't count it. Even though it's my first encounter, it's just a Caterpie. Like, I don't need a Butterfree anyways. Um, and then, for simplicity rules, I won't add anything to that because I never mentioned it before. But I will wrap up today's episode here. Thank you guys very much for tuning in the first episode of Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. We already had one loss, which is kind of funny. Uh, so I'll get working, I'll get editing on the overlay here and everything, get all that jazz done. And so yeah, so that'll be fun. We'll get all that going. Oh, the stretch is real. Oh, it feels good. Oh, it's good. <sighs> and thank you guys very much for tuning in. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. Check out our other series coming out with Mega Man Battle Network going up at, uh, well, that's probably already up by now. But 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Mega Man Battle Network, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Digimon, Cyber Sooth, Hackers, Memory. Thank you guys very much for supporting Salt Chicken Studios. And we'll see you, sexy beasts, in the next episode. Bye-bye.